Hey again, if you're, I got cut off for some reason. Look, um, if you're just tuning into this, I've got another live video here that will be at the same time. So what you'll do if you're on my live is there's a little, over to the right will be a little arrow and you can click and it'll take you to the next one. You can overlap live videos on here now. I know because I saw somebody else do that. So, okay, so listen to the recipe. Let's say you're doing a wet chop, Vitamix wet chop or high speed blender wet chop. You will fill up your carafe, your container, you know, with about um, two times as much water. Like if you're gonna do two large red onions, which is what this recipe calls for, then what you'll do is you'll cover that up with lots of water. So they're real, uh, they have buoyancy, you know what I mean? They're, okay, so there's lots of water. Then you put the top on really tight and then you're gonna do your pulse mode and you're gonna give it one of these. Now, okay, this is the technical way, ready? Rant, rant, and the reason why is because what it does, it's gonna throw it up to the top, slam it to the blade. Throw it to the top, slam it to the blade. You don't wanna do it too much or you're gonna have onion water. So then, what you wanna do is you wanna drain that out in your colander, it's slightly moist, right? Then you put that in your bowl. Two large onions. And I have a video called Vitamix Wet Chop and Wet Chop Baby where I am demoing that. And um, so that's what you do. Then I had, um, oh yes, I had about six cups of kale, I think it was about six cups, packed in there, okay, measured out first. Then I put it in my Vitamix, again, covering well with water. The key is to put a lot of water, okay? Then you give it a rant, rant, real fast. You drain it, you put that in your bowl. So now you've got all that finely chopped kale and onions. Then I took my fresh, raw, whole flax seeds, okay? And then I ground those in my $2 Mr. Coffee grinder that I got at the thrift store, okay? You grind your seeds because if you buy flax meal ahead of time, a lot of times it can be rancid, and um, which means bad, and it also loses nutrients, and we're after it for its omega-3 fatty acids, anti-inflammatory properties, right? plus it's binding ability, plus hello, it's delicious and crispy. Now what we're doing is we're taking the flax and what you're gonna do is about a fourth of a cup to a half cup, depending on your fat needs. A fourth of a cup before you grind those is 200 calories. So you're gonna know if you have a 2000 calorie diet and you put those in your crackers and you ate all the crackers, that was 10% of your calories from fat that day. Did you pick up what I just laid down? So maybe you add more or maybe you, you add more, but you eat half the crackers. That's another story but anyway my point is this you are stretching out the fat in those crackers why are you going to do that why tan your fat's good for you yeah it is but you don't need okay there's a lot of recipes out there that are more fall into gourmet raw the reason why is there's a lot of sugar there's a lot of salt maybe not even that but there's a lot of fat okay you got about two cups of cashews you got a cup of sunflower seeds or you've got crackers made with let's say six cups of flax seeds or even a cup, that's 800 calories from fat. The key is you don't need that. You grind them because you can't really absorb flax seeds unless they're, you can chias, but it, unless they're in their ground state. Now, if you're using chia seeds, also if you grind those, they give a more gelatinous experience along with the flax to your batter, your cracker batter, right? And then it's gonna have a better, it's a binding agent, all right, and a crispy factor. So you mix all that together. We had a fourth to a half a cup of ground flax seeds. We had two red onions, peel off the wrapper, you know, and get, give it the wet chop, wet chop baby, or Vitamix wet chop on YouTube, or just look at my Insta stories, or down on my Instagram, Tanny Raw. And then you'll see how to do it. Then we had the kale. We had about six cups of kale. I think it might have been more. You can use more if you want. Anyway, then you put that in there. I had a little bit of red pepper flakes. You can season it with whatever you want. Italian spices would have been good. Dill, rosemary, um, all those kind of uh, savory spices would have been good, but I had red pepper flakes, so that's what I used. You could put in some dulse flakes or wakame seaweed if you want to add a little salty flair without the salt. Great for iodine, great for hormone balance and thyroid health but I wanna have that in my dressing later, so I didn't do that. Anyway, stir up the cracker batter, okay? Then get your hand in there and get, give it a really good a squeeze it, okay? Then, what you're doing is you're working the gelatinous experience of the moistened flat ground flax seeds into all the other 
ingredients. Then you take your dehydrator with your Tex Teflex or parchment paper sheet on there. It's the paper, you know. You're going to spread it out about a half inch thick. You're going to tap the edges because when the edges are thinner than the middle, the edges get done quicker, right? So you're going to smooth that out. I have a Vitamix spatula, which is kind of uh, skinny, which is good for getting out in the edge, but it also smooths out well, you know. And then you're going to slide it in at 115 to 118 degrees Fahrenheit. You are going to dry that until you can bring it out and you can take another grid, okay? Another plank grid without the Teflex sheets. Put it on there, hold it, flip it, pull the paper off. Now, if it's dry enough, you can take the paper and just give it a flip, but sometimes it's not dry enough and your batter oozes off the side. You know, that's a problem. That's a batter blunder. So, you're gonna take the grid, you're gonna flip it, you're gonna peel the paper gently. If it's not ready, you're like, oh no, I tried to peel the paper and it wasn't ready and it wasn't time to peel the paper. So, slide it back in there with the paper on the back. Then in a little bit, give it 30 minutes, bring it out, peel the paper. Slide it back in there until it's crispy for your crunching satisfaction later, right? That's how you do it. That's how you stretch the fat right there. I know a lot of people not losing weight or gaining weight on a raw vegan diet because they're eating too many calories, they're eating too much fat. They don't understand why they're not healing, regenerating, why they're not healing their skin, their guts, um, why they're still lethargic. It's a lot of fat, baby. Am I saying you don't need fat? No, I said you do need fat. So that's two different things. Okay, I'm saying stretch the fat. I'm saying balance the fat. Are you getting your omega-3s? And are you getting your omega-6? You get too many omega-6, you've created a pro-inflammatory situation in your body, and that's not good, and your body really can't convert the elements into what it needs. If you are over on your omega-6, if you are balancing a one-to-one -one ratio, you can convert, and you don't need to supplement, typically, unless your body constitution is in a situation where you need to help it out right now. Does that make sense? <laughs> anyway, the greens, I don't know why people aren't doing it, but um, yes, better than a multivitamin. All the benefits, none of the calories, right? All the bulking, all the balance, all the regenerative, regenerative restorative properties of greens. Do you have anything to say about that? So again, if you did not see this first video, it's over here. And then you'll go this way and you can see them whenever it loads up, you know. What are y'all doing? Y'all aren't saying anything. I just see you laughing about something. I, I didn't do a funny thing. By the way, if you did not see that I have been showing the Raw Food Summit hosted by doctor and doctors and long-term raw foodist Rick and Karen Dina. They are, have been um, catalysts in my healing journey over the years. I was invited to speak. I did to get to talk. I really did. And I talked about everything under the sun and I talked about how I map my plan, how I map other people's plan, how, how my day looks, what I eat in a day, why I eat the way I do. Um, mindset, mental mindset of doing different to get different. You know, we got a lot of people with a lot of information applying none. You know, um, we know a lot of stuff and we're doing nothing about it. What are we waiting on? I mean, you got to know all the things, and then the second part of that equation is. What are you gonna do about it, you know? I mean, even down to maybe you, you see the partner of your dreams. Maybe you're a dude and you see the partner of your dreams and, and you realize this lady has boundaries, right? She's got it going on, she's the one. But she, yet she requires these things of you. Here's what you want over here, right? You've understood what you need to do now, right in here is you actually doing the thing to get what you want. It's very interesting. <laughs> uh, what do I think of menopause treatment? 
Well, I think that years ago, I used to have a lot of hormone problems and a lot of problems with um, my cycle and just, it, I was all out of whack. I, you know, I wouldn't have my period one month. Next month, I'd have it for six weeks in a row. But bleeding to death, um, doctors wanting to do even blood transfusions and infusions and uterine ablation where they blast in scalding water up in your uterus to cause scar tissue so you don't bleed anymore, you know? Um, thinking that I could absorb these iron tablets when I couldn't even absorb a piece of kale like it would come out the same way I chewed it in. Um, I tell you what, healing is real when you get your, yourself to a natural state. Um, I'm not going to go the hormone replacement, bio-identical, none of that stuff. I'm going to age gracefully and naturally. And I, I don't really, um, I tell you what, Marcus Rothkrantz has a formula of herbs that I want to think it's called night formula does anybody know but it's herbs that are beneficial for hot flashes um, menopause the change of life like that but I, I don't feel like I'm even in anywhere near perimenopause I mean I could tell you the day of the month I'm ovulating like oh <laughs> it's well, you know anyway I love y'all and I hope you have a great day and um, oh, this is a good song. I use Irish moss. I haven't made any um, Irish moss wraps in a while, but if you've not seen those, I have some really good wraps that have that, and those those have a really good um, constitution where they don't fall apart. You know what I mean? Anyway, I'm glad we could connect today and and just live in love. What do y'all say? Um, I'm trying to figure out how to stimulate a uh, simulate cereal with a dehydrator and use blended bananas and water for the milk. I love me some cereal. <laughs> um you know, you can use dried mulberries in your cereal. You could use like um, diced bananas, and you could use some diced berries, some dried mulberries at the end, and then you could do bananas and water for nana milk, and then you could pour that on there. You could add a little cinnamon. You could add your mulberries in there. You really could. I was going to have a different song, but now that I see this one, I feel like it's a slightly sacrilegious if I don't if I don't use it now. So. I know we've heard it before, but like you can't ever hear this song too much.